Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to sew on a button. It's very likely that at some point in your life you're going to have to do this, so it's a great life skill to know. I'll be doing the main demonstration using a four hole button, but I'll also briefly demonstrate how to sew a two hole button as well. To do this you're going to need a strong sewing thread and two needles. One needs to be a sharp hand sewing needle and the other needs to be a larger blunt needle, such as a yarn darning needle. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is cut out a piece of thread. Then feed the end of this thread into your sharp hand sewing needle. Fold the piece of thread in half to double it up and then tie a knot in this doubled up thread near the end. I like to use my needle to help me move that knot to the end of the threads. Right, so now I'm going to attach a four hole button to a piece of felt. The first thing you need to do is sew a cross on the front of your fabric. The centre of this cross is where the centre of the button is going to be positioned. So you come up through the fabric and then go back down through the fabric to create a diagonal stitch. And then you create an identical stitch, but at 90 degrees to the one you've just made. You want this cross shape to represent the holes in the button, so you're aiming at that kind of size. If you put the button over the cross, the ends of the stitches should roughly line up with the holes. You now need to hold this button in place over the cross whilst we sew it on. Bring the needle up through the fabric from behind the button and come through one of the holes. I prefer to come up through the holes on the right and then go down through the holes on the left, but the order is completely up to you. So I bring my needle up through the top right hole first and then down through the bottom left hole. Continue to try and keep the holes in the button lined up with the cross underneath. Next, take your larger needle and place it on the front of the button, under the stitch you've just made. Then continue stitching your button to your fabric. So come up through the bottom right hole, and then go back down again through the top left hole. And you repeat this cycle several times. So up through the top right and down through the bottom left. Then up through the bottom right and down through the top left. I usually do this around five or six times. Once you've done that, bring your needle up through the fabric but not up through the button, so it's just sandwiched in between. Then pull the thread through. Then remove the large needle and wrap the thread around the button tightly several times. The reason for using that large needle was to provide spacing between the button and the fabric. So once you've done the thread wrapping, take your needle back down through the fabric. And then all we need to do is secure the end of the thread. So take your needle under some of the threads on the back of the fabric. Pull the thread until there's just a small loop remaining. Take the needle through that loop and tighten. You can then repeat that again if you wish. Then all you need to do is cut off the excess thread. And that's it, you've now sewn on a button. If you're wanting a demonstration of how to sew a two hole button on instead, then the main difference is that you start with just a single stitch rather than a cross. And the length of this stitch basically represents the distance between the holes in the button. 
So you line up the button with the stitch and then you start sewing the button onto the fabric. Place the large needle under that first stitch as we did before and then just keep repeating that same stitch several times, always travelling in the same direction. Then you bring the needle up between the fabric and the button and remove the large needle. before wrapping the thread several times around the button. Then the needle goes down to the back of the fabric again and you secure the end of the thread as we did before. And that's it, that's all you need to do to sew on a button. I really hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.